Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Tidball Taste Tour. Thank yes. you for joining us on on another episode. <laughs> um, so we wanted to compare and contrast. The last episode we did was the Windsor and Eaton Republica. This one here, that's a Kraft Pilsner. Now, the uh, if you look back, the first episode that we did here at this particular location, like I said, we're in... Uh, Windsor, England, uh, at a travel lodge here. It's a shitty day out, so we decided to do some taste tours in the hotel. This brew here is the Waitrose Czech Pilsner. Bright, hoppy, and full-flavored with refreshing hints of citrus. Brewed in the Czech Republic, uh, from Bohemia, it says. Pivovar Herald, so the Herald Brewery. A classic Czech lager made at the Herald Brewery, situated in Bresnik Castle in Bohemia, where beer has been produced since the 15th century. Spears made from Saz hops and locally grown barley, which is malted within the castle walls. 5% alcohol, very, very typical there for a Czech Pilsner. So the reason we're doing this now is because we want to compare and contrast with the most recent Czech Pilsner. This one smells a lot more skunky. As soon as I pop the top, I could smell that. That's a lot more truly Czech. You can tell that's brewed in the Czech Republic and this is brewed in the UK. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. Hmm. Weird. 100%. I can tell immediately, I'm immediately from tasting oh. this, that it's distinctively Czech. I can smell it from here. I mean, it's, it's, it, the, the flavor is not, the flavor profile is similar in a way, but it's, it's very, very, very different. I mean, it's very different. The, these, are sweeter, more. This is more like a Pilsner Quell is sweeter or, or Cal, however it's pronounced. I think it's or Cal is pronounced. Is is this is Pilsner Quell is sweeter than this, mm -hmm. but this has that spicy hoppy bite um, that all good Czech Pilsners like Star Promen, uh, Gambrinus, all those kinds. It tastes like those. Mm -hmm. and, and it you can tell that this is brewed actually in the Czech Republic. This is, I mean, for, for cheap grocery store beer, this is really good. I really like this one. I'm going to pour yours. There you go. Yeah, that tastes more like what I expected it to taste Yeah, like. that's a Czech Pilsner. What's Heineken? It's Dutch. A lager? Yeah. Pilsners are lagers, too. Yeah. Well, that doesn't want to focus at all. I got it to focus, it just took a while. There we go. It's, um... This, I mean, that's just what I expected it to taste like. Because Pilsners, to me... Tastes like, I mean, they taste like Heineken, but better. <laughs> okay. I don't know. That's just what I think they taste like. I'm not. Pil, pil, if you can't tell, Pilsner's are my favorite. Okay. Well, to but, me, this is a fantastic take on the Czech Pilsner. I'm actually going to give this, let me take it one more sip and see. I like the other one better. To me, it's not even close. This one's better. I'll give this one an eight and a half. It's very good. I give it like a six. <laughs> what? I don't know, I don't really like it that much. All right. Well, this has been the Waitrose Czech Pilsner. So I think for me, don't listen to her. For me, the 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 what you should gather from this particular video is if you want cheap booze and good, Go to Waitrose and buy their own brews because they're very good. The Belgian was good. This Pilsner's good. I would recommend them. So the taste store will be back. I'm going to give that one a nine. And she's going to give it a six. Don't listen to me. Yeah. Whoever does on your channel. Right? I like the I like the Windsor and Eaton Brewery, but the Waitrose I like better. So we'll be back. Thanks for joining. Join in next time.